to find a cool fossil yeah I've already picked it up had a look at it but there it is on screen right there it's a beautiful little crayfish you can see there are the legs over there it's quite a big one that's the tail curving around It looks really fragile, so I'm going to pack it up very carefully. Yeah, that's a really cool one. I think the head would have been over here somewhere. That's so cool. Some kind of coral over here. Yeah, that looks like a coral. And what's interesting is it's in a different rock than the other rocks. It's not in a concretion. It's in some green sand, so it's got a lot of glauconite in there. And I think that green sand is older than the rest. So it's quite cool finding it here. I found one of those before, maybe like 60, 70 kilometers away. I think that's a fossil crab down there. Yeah, there's the claw coming out. Top of the carapace. It's the front of the claw there. Here's one of the rocks I used to carry back. You can see that. It looks very much like a bone over there. But that's a trace fossil. That's probably a burrow or something that's been filled in and has turned into something that looks very much to my eye like a bird bone but that's yeah that's what we call a trace fossil and you can see the rock is just full of other little traces of some kind of creature that was there millions of years ago i'm sure you can see that but here's some really good bones sticking out of this concretion have a look at that and there's more there's another piece over here and it's got a bit of a curve to it this is really good whatever this is I think <laughs> I'm pretty much at the end of my hike and I just happened to just glance down and see this but yeah that's looking good I'm not sure what it's gonna be but I've got a good feeling about this well let me get it stowed away I don't think it would be too difficult to prep. I can just remove this top rock over here. We should be able to actually see what it is.
Well, this is what we have so far. It's looking very, very interesting. The bone texture is very strange. It doesn't look cetacean to me. It's it's got almost like got these fibers going throughout it. It reminds me a little bit of fish bone, but I don't think it's fish. It might well be something cool. I don't know if it's coming out on footage, but this bone starts over here and it kind of curves. It's got a bit of a curvature to it. And it's going all the way to here, and then it's kind of heading this direction. And there's a little bit of bone sticking out over there. So I'm wondering if it's all on the same, all part of the same bone. If it is, yeah, it could be a skull. When I showed a few people, a few people said turtle skull, so... You can see the rocks separated really easily from the bone over here, but I've run into a bit of a problem where it's very sticky. I don't know if I'm going to acid prep it. I might use some micro air abrasion over there and see if I can just get down to the bone layer to use a little bit of vinegar to clean it up. Thanks so much for joining me everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, this hunt. Uh, the year's off to a great start. I'm very excited about this. And welcome to all the new subscribers. I see that Penguin Prep uh, brought a few more viewers in, so I hope you enjoy this content. And stick around and we'll find out what's inside this rock. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt.